What's up guys and welcome back to another TFT video. One of the things in this set that I'm most impressed about is the removal of the Gargantuan Resolve augment. But since Steric fills the same role, the new Steric's augment is almost as fun to play. And while it doesn't have as much flexibility onto AP Bruisers like the old augment, these new buffed Steric's are perfect for the Warrior class, who receive a buff of substantial damage amp at the same health threshold that Steric's pops at. So enjoy this massive Fiora carry. And if you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe. See ya! Blaster Bears. I think the Blaster Bears one's been my favorite so far. Let's take these guys. Higher education every time your scholar spend mana gain attack speed. Uh seems kinda bad. Clear mind or unleash the beast. We have double sterics. Unleash the beast, double sterics, dude. Seems good. Clockwork Accelerator, Keepers. Probably just this girl, right? Warrior. Nila. You should give her this, and then you should give her this. And then you just can go from there. I don't even know. I don't even know. What am I supposed to do after that? I don't know. In a minor effect? Sure. A two target dummies in the middle of nowhere? Sure. Had a chance to pay out some fat money. I'll take the random chance to do something cool. All this does is give 30% attack speed when Sterics triggers and you know what else triggers at 60% attack speed? The warrior buff. The warrior buff triggers at 60% health, which gives you more Omni Vamp and other stuff. So we're looking for some early warriors. Eldritch, we've got Ash as well. Okay. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Edge of Night also triggers at 60% HP. Interesting. Good thought. Mm hmm. Sell, 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 sell. Gonna get lots of warriors for free. Okay, my Neela just got evaporated. Nice, cool, amazing, awesome, yes, good. Win, anyways. Frick it. Oh. Oh, why? So trash. Just need warriors, realistically. Hey. That's pretty good. Yeah, Twitch is gone. How would you play four Nila? How would you play four Warrior Nila reroll? Because I'm guaranteed to get some warriors, right? Cat and then the other girl. Is that the best use of Unleash the Beast? What are the stats on it? Is it even good? It might be total trash, actually. It's not trash, okay. But yeah, definitely works really good on the Warriors. Definitely works pretty good on the Warriors. Should I just go for three? Should I just go for three of them? No, I think I like Edge of Night, honestly. That was a good little ender. Because then they'll take damage down to 60% and then 
to drop focus and just become an absolute monster? Sure. Sure. Are we cooking or what? A one cost champ you have transforms into a two cost champ? Play the broken new new guy? I like it. The broken new new guy is online now. Maybe I should have dropped out of Elise here. Just to make money. Okay, now focus my Neela. Okay, but don't stun her. That's not good. Did she proc this already? I think she did. Hmm. Hmm. She lost. She lost. Hmm. Making 20. Wish I had Bastion, kinda. Nila Akali. Katarina. Fiora with a Nunu with a Nunu? Hmm. Dang, people have been playing. It seems like Nila is not the way to go. It seems like Fiora is much stronger. Fiora Witchcraft. Hmm. Interesting. Fiora Witchcraft. I'm kinda into it. Can play this and pair the Nico with the this guy. There's a warrior. Get another warrior at the start of the stage with what we're playing right now. Is that okay? Is that okay? Kind of. It'd be cool if we got a Neela. I think we're gonna get a three cost though. It's cool if we got a remover, then I could successfully just go for a Fiora pretty pretty easily. I think warrior emblem's ever good. Oh, okay. I guess we three two star the two star this girl for free. That's not bad. Remover actually, we hit. Okay. Now we get a free Katarina, right? Yeah. And a free Neela, yeah. Toady, new follower, Phil MDR. Hi, Phil. Hog. How's your season going, Phil? No Bastion, really. Archangels on Nunu, though. Imagine how funny that is. We've seen it. It's broken. It's broken. We've seen it. 300% AP heal. Just give him the thing that gives him the fat AP heal. It doesn't really fit with the warriors. It is funny though. Would it be super down for a warrior emblem, honestly. Just play six warriors. Fat damage amp. Frost and multi striker seem like the best. Frost seems pretty good. I think they buffed Olaf fair amount too, so like Loki, Olaf might be really strong. Sloki. Radiant Relics, Buried Treasures, or Invested. Gain 26 gold at the start of each round. Gain one shop roll for every 10 gold above 50. Maximum 80 gold. Buried Treasures, Radiant Relics. Immovable Object. Gain a Randuins. Increased by one hex. Increased by 70%. Manazane and Azonia's Paradox. 
That could be good Gwen items. This could be fun too, though. I think I'm gonna take this instead of 80. Make a ton of extra gold. Max 80 gold or maximum 8 extra rerolls. We're about to find out, I guess. No extra interest, though, huh? Just extra rerolls, which is technically interest. In its own unique way, it is interest, right? So, boom. She procs. She's got attack speed. Boom. She's huge. They ignore her. Nunu's here. It seems like... Why is her attack speed so sporadically different? I don't really understand. Whatever. More Neelas? I mean, frick, if we 3-star Neela for free, then... For each 10 gold above 50, I got 3 rerolls. Oh, I guess it's whenever the round starts. That's kind of good. That means you can stay at 75. I don't really plan on leveling here. Mostly because I didn't hold good units, I wasn't paying enough attention. This looks like an easy fight though. He's got Spellcaster's Toolbox. I thought about taking that for the Gwen. Okay, you proc, right? Now you stop focusing, my girl. 1.88 attack speed. Slap, 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 okay. 730 damage shielded and healed. Okay, so we'll get three more rerolls, is that correct? Just three? Or could it possibly be five? Slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, clap, slap, clap, slap, clap. Okay. <laughs> Okay, dude, okay. Gwen items? Need Gwen items. Hmm. Whatever. Okay, so maximum three extra rerolls. Whatever. Team gains attack speed for one round. I'll take it because if we win, it's really, really big. Bastion. Spear of Sojin, Hextech Gunblade. Archangel Staff. Okay, so on level eight, let's play. Let's play Fiora Gwen, Rakan, Katarina, Bard Beck, Bard Zillion. We lost, okay, it's fine. Zillion Bard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one more warrior. It's probably... Probably a Kali. Reservers, mana, blah, 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 health, healing. And then, yeah, like a Morgana would be based. Oops. It's fine. We already know that we get the extra rerolls even if we go under 70. As long as we make it back to 80 by the start of the next interest, that's when it counts at the start of each round. Yeah. Interesting wording, to be honest. It makes it nice that you can drop below a certain amount and still get an extra reroll. Okay, we're kind of getting clapped now. It's okay. 
We're gonna get a warrior after wolves. I just hope that it's Fiora. And then I hope that we get... After we get Fiora, I hope that we get... A warrior emblem from this. That would be cool. That's a thing, right? Yep, warrior crest and warrior crown. Honestly, that's really trash placements, so maybe I'll just stick with four. Warrior. Re-leveling here just for slightly better shop odds. I should get three extra rerolls still, regardless of the positioning. Bow, remover, tear, sword. We got Gwen, that's not really my favorite, but... Um, tier, tier, Hextech Gunblade, Giant Slayer, sure, Gunblade, or just Anvil. Yeah, let's do Anvil Bloodthirster. And then if we get Preservers in, we'll get the Morgana for free at the start of Stage 5. That's kind of sick, actually, huh? I'm down for it. Let's see a Fiora pop off. No! Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, if 1-star Gwen is doing that much damage, I have a feeling that... It'll be pretty good on this girl. Warrior Crest. I wanted it really bad earlier, but I looked at the stats and it looks really trash. Not today. Oh, Unified though. Or Reinforcement. Let's go Unified. Warrior does nothing. Just need... We need to get to those girls, right? Okay. Okay, she's got the, the Sterics proc, she's got the attack speed, she's got the attack damage. Pretty sure 2 star Fiora is just gonna mop with these items, dude. 4 warriors enough. Pretty sure she's about to mop. 16 free rerolls. Preserver, Rakan, this guy. Rakan, this guy. Fairy Queen Crown. Target dummy that drops gold? Sure. <sighs> what the frick? Where the frick are all the guys? We're one off of both now? Unfortunately, she's in the middle of all of them, and we did not kill enough stuff. Yes, we did. Wait, yes, we did? Okay. We made it back to 50. We still get another free reroll. Correct, right? One more free reroll, right? Correct. I want to find a bard really bad. I have 
AP. Technically, this girl does damage. I'll just go more AP. Hmm. Eight Bastion? You have eight Bastion in your game? That's crazy. Oh, I need that. No, you mother trucker, dude. Alright, this is equally pretty good. Okay, Fiora. I have 70 life. I can make two extra free rerolls. I think I can wait. I think I can chill. Have you found those minor stat ability bonus does? Does it tell you other than the icon appearing? Minor stat slash ability bonus? What do you mean? Are you talking about with the charms? Like when you get like a, a minor charm? Yeah, it does tell you what it does now. Those are usually really good for the value. They're like usually twice the value of a normal charm. The only thing is, is like you can't really see what it does until after you've done it. Ridiculously impressive. You can consistently win while talking on stream on two chats. I can't win alone in a room playing off your videos. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I'll take that. That's a that's a pretty nice compliment. It's an augment that rolls the dice. Yeah, so that's a minor minor wish or major wish. Minor wish costs one gold and it usually gives you a charm that's worth two gold and major wish is a five gold one that gives you a charm that's worth 10 gold. So yes, in in general, 99% of the time, it's super duper worth it. I have to roll for a bard. Oh, cool. Huh? Got fifth with level 10 Bastion. Arcana because you need Xerath or Diana too. Kind of tilted. Yeah, that's a little tilting. But you made it to 10. That's kind of impressive. I feel like I only ever make it to level 8. Also, that guy just ate a full Fiora ult because of Zonia's Hourglass. So if you guys aren't convinced that Zonia's Hourglass is OP, then you guys definitely need to look into it. So extremely worth it. Yeah, buy it every single time. Sometimes it just gives you training dummies and you're like on a lost streak and it sucks. But most of the time it'll give you extra rerolls or it'll give you... It gives like extra rerolls. It gives like... Other cool stuff. It gives your units health. It being oppressive doesn't matter. I lost 10 LP. Sag. Sag, dude. I feel like I wonder sometimes if talking on stream helps or hurts. It's like, what if I was just like totally trash at the game if I didn't talk on stream, you know? I told you I would get a Morgana. Didn't I say that? Like, I... There's, I mean, it's possible. I might just be like actually fully kind of a trash can if I didn't talk on stream, dude. I'm gonna level next turn, but I should still play Morgana this turn. Look at how many buffs that added, dude. Preservers to give these girls extra health and mana is pretty sick. Oh, she gets out of the Fiora ult by rocking the... Edge of Night, that's super duper good. Okay, so Sterix Gauge Fiora is the wave. I would have messed that up. I would have played Neela and we would have gotten an eighth. With how many free rerolls we have and the fact that we're about to be level nine with like 50 gold. Kind of makes me think I can hit Fiora here. Take the bard, sure. When Hello? Hello? 
Dang it. I found no Fioras. I do have Gwen 2 though. Gwen 2 kind of popping off. I don't have healing reduction. Does it matter though? We'll find out. Ka ching Where was this game during my placements, dude? Ka ching I gotta slam this on somebody so I get... Gain an artifact anvil for a jillion, billion, million gold? No. What are we pinging? He's got nothing. He's got blaster... 18 gold? Krito, 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 Krito. Krito. Krito, girl. These guys are being funny, dude. That was me last game, just losing my mind because I could never hit the guys. Because I had to play Callisto with shapeshifters because four people wanted to play encanters. Next time, I'm just gonna hard contest, dude. It seems like it would have been better. Arcana Emblem? Might low-key smack a little bit. No healing reduction, huh? No. Never that. What am I doing? Blue buff Morgana? Uh, probably just this. Probably makes her a little bit tankier than the blue buff. The blue buff. I have 19 free rerolls. Surely I'm just gonna... 3 star something, brothers. I think I'm just gonna 3 star something. Yeah, so we like the lo-fi playlist, huh? That's good. I'm happy. I'm playing this all day today. And then tonight, I'm going to see if um, the live stream gets copyright striked. And if it doesn't, then that means that we can just put the lo-fi music on stream like this. And I don't have to do anything extra later on tonight. Or like when I'm editing videos, which is pretty much always what I strive to do. One shot him. No. Yes. 10k damage. Took 10k damage also. Summon a 4,000 health dragon for one round. It costs 12 gold, dude. Isn't that a lot? It's also interesting to think about how I have 44 gold in the bank right here. I don't even care if I lose at this point, right? I'm just going to keep stacking up my rerolls. I might even just go 10 and try to roll for units at level 10 because I can play like I can play like a lot of stuff really. Melio. It also just seems like I'm really strong. Double sterics with uh, Edge of Night seems like Biss. Ah, where you, I just eat my words every time. Eating those words. That guy beat the guy that just beat me. Sick. But I'm level 984 gold. Don't even have a Rakan to. Too bad my little. My little sugar cake gets like no components per round. Too bad. 52 to level. I'll try Katarina carry. Don't do it. It's not good. That's why Katarina has even shroud and ionic spark. Her stipulations are just 
a slightly too high. Gain a champion duplicator? Now that is some value, man. Let's give Morgana a Spear of Sojin. And let's level and roll down next turn, brother. Bum bum. Bum da da dum bum ba da dum dum. Dum da da dum dum da dum. 28 free rerolls. I don't think I can even use 28 rerolls in one turn. I'm way too dumb to do that. It's gonna be 40 to level. I'm gonna have 50 gold. I'm way too dumb to reroll that many times in one turn, dude. Three level five costs incoming. Yeah, three star five costs incoming potentially. We're just gonna focus on Gwen and the other girl first, though. Dink, 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 dink. Your team has a chance to dodge attacks. I can miss that for a little bit. I'll play Melia. Reroll your shot with all fours. That's good. Fiora. Gwen, Gwen. Hey, hey. Wait, I'm freaking poor. My units were too expensive, dude. I still have 11 rolls though. 40% chance to hit. Ouch. I need one Gwen. He's holding a Gwen. I need, I need... There's Gwen. Temporary Declaw is cheap enough to take. Fiora. That's kind of unreal. That's kind of unbelievable. One of one or one of the other, I guess. But maybe I should have just rolled for another duplicator charm or something. Ooh, that was a good ult. Bat does nothing. Archangel's Morgana, I could see being pretty good. Surely they'll kill each other right before I die, which means I can at least get a second if I don't manage to hit right here, but... How often do I actually just not hit here? have to give up on one and roll for the other, I guess. While they're fighting each other, that's good. That's pretty good. Melio is kind of a not a good unit. Could probably play something better. He had desperate plea. I'm so fricked. Items become artifacts? No. Stun all enemies? No.
Dude! Fuck! No, dude! Fuck! I'm such a boomer. Fucking kidding me. Oh my god. What an embarrassing game to put on YouTube, especially just so tragic at the end right there. I'm so I'm such a boomer. I got too excited. Alright, GG, like and subscribe. And I think I love you again. I think I love you again.